Lockheed Martin, a renowned defense corporation, has hit a milestone in manufacturing their F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. However, persistent challenges with the TR-3 hardware configuration's development and testing have somewhat dimmed this significant feat. In simpler terms, the TR-3 is a vital component for the upcoming capabilities of the F-35, also known as Block 4. Unfortunately, delays related to the TR-3 are causing freshly built F-35S to remain unused and undelivered as they await their necessary updates. For instance, this is the case for the 1000th F-35 that has been produced. The production of F-35S is ongoing, with many units at various steps of the final assembly stage. Once the required TR3 hardware and software arrive, the production will resume, including the parking phase. Following this, the F-35S will be ready for delivery, said Lockheed Martin, answering the war zone question. Despite the hurdles, achieving a production count of 1,000 is certainly a significant milestone for this controversial program. The F-35 program has shown marked progress in recent times. The data from early this year tells us that more than 773,000 hours of flight have been logged. Additionally, over 2,280 pilots have undergone training, along with 15,400 maintenance personnel across 14 worldwide flying services. The program has also successfully conducted 469,000 sorties in total. This program operates internationally under the Joint Strike Fighter JSF umbrella. So far, 32 bases and 11 ships across 17 nations can host F-35 units. This conveys the reach and impact of the F-35 program on a global scale. The F-35 jet is becoming more popular thanks to changing worldwide security concerns. Whether you're considering buying your first jet or adding to your fleet, the advanced features of the TR-3 and potential Block 4 make them an excellent choice. They're not just technologically sophisticated, they also offer a wider range of abilities and opportunities for growth compared to older models. Block 4 is set to bring plenty of new features to the table. These include added processing power, innovative displays, better cooling, and next-gen EOTEs and DAS electro-optical sensors. It will also boast a wealth of new weaponry to make the most of the F-35's potential. But the biggest game-changer? The JET's top-notch radar and electronic warfare suite, as stated by the leader of the Air Combat Command. Right now, the F-35S are facing a challenge. They need an updated hardware framework and corresponding software, collectively known as TR3, to take in the various features of the Block 4 upgrade. However, the development of this new TR3 system has been, and still is, plagued with several delays. The age and conditions of the existing F-35 fleet, along with limitations of the current testing setups, particularly on ground software labs, are causing severe complications. In January 2023, an F-35 test jet equipped with the TR-3 hardware took its first flight. Plans are underway to create a specific TR-3 test squadron of six Joint Strike Fighters. The TR-3 development's projected finish time has been pushed back. Originally expected to be done between April and June, Defence News now says it's experiencing a delay of 12 to 18 months. This delay is unexpected and may impact the project's timeline. It's no secret that the F-35 program has hit some roadblocks and these hurdles have led to increased costs. In fact, issues with the TR-3 have caused a spike in spending to the tune of an additional $1 billion. Just to give you an idea of the enormity of this project, the projected cost for the entire F-35 program, scheduled to wrap up in the 2070S, stands at a whopping $1.7 trillion, according to the Government Accountability Office, GAO. All these figures were revealed during a House Armed Services Committee hearing in December by Representative Donald Norcross, a Democrat from New Jersey. In a recent committee hearing, Air Force Lieutenant General Michael Schmidt, who heads the F-35 Joint Program Office, wasn't very hopeful about preventing future TR-3 delays. Speaking to the group of legislators, Schmidt expressed, 
we are addressing the stability issues we have. However, we are still trying to find definitive proof that our lab solutions will work as well in real flight conditions. He added, we're adopting various strategies to overcome these stability challenges. We aim to achieve a safe, competent and sustainable aircraft shortly. The TR-3 package development is reaching its final stages. After completion, these improvements will be integrated into the existing jets. Alongside this, the F-35 program is concentrating on enhancing the Pratt and Whitney F-135 engines which supply power to all Joint Strike Fighter models. These modifications in power and thermal management systems are essential for supporting the upcoming Block 4 capabilities. As of now, there are ongoing heated discussions concerning the F-135 engine issues. The US military has made it clear that it won't accept any new F-35 aircraft until all problems related to the TR-3 system are fully fixed. This decision stems from the necessity to conduct trial flights which can't occur unless the hardware and its primary software work dependably. So, it looks like we'll have to wait a bit longer for the grand unveiling of the 1000th F-35. For the next few months, this jet and several others will remain grounded. Why, you ask? They're waiting for the essential TR-3 upgrades to be completed.